So on the lid, I'm taking the Mama Mitchell and P. Louise Acid Rain in blank canvas, and I'm gonna cut just the center of my lid. On that center of the lid, I'm applying Bleeding Heart. You're not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous for this part. I'm hoping that it's gonna stick well to the blank canvas. Okay. Hmm, okay, so Bleeding Heart is the first shade where I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't know, I kind of expected it to be a little bit creamier and stronger. Um, I mean, I got there in the end by really packing it on and layering it on. So out of all the colors that have been on my eye so far, this one is the least sort of like pleasing. Um confused about these three here. I feel like they're kind of the same, especially this one and this one. I'm like, they're pretty much the same. So some shades in here are a little repetitive. So I keep getting all these tweets that people are thinking makeup by Shayla is talking about me on her new snaps. Bitch, I wish the motherfucking hoe would. So basically, we were in New York and this girl was asking Shayla about lip injections. Shayla looked at her entire face and said, you need them, bitch. Your face is disproportioned. Now, why would a grown woman tell another grown woman something that disgusting and ugly unless she was an insecure rat herself? So long story short, Shayla, your engagement is as low as your IQ, no one fucks with you, all your friends talk shit behind your back, and you're a fucking cunt. Now, I'm as humble as they come, but when fucking cunts like you want to disrespect everybody and act like you're above us all, you can have a fucking seat and a bench. This is a this is Kylie Jenner's makeup brand and this is the quality. Hunty, no. I'm gonna try one more. This has never been used before. Oh my god. Uh, not acceptable. This is no hate whatsoever. It's just like when you're a multi-million dollar celebrity, why would you put anything out half-assed? And I've seen that she has mentioned the wand on her snap, right? It just doesn't make sense. Why are you a multi-million dollar celebrity and putting out something janky? Like, the wand should be good the first time, not the second time you make the new batch. So what that basically tells me is that they half assed it, put out the product, and then the next run, they're gonna make improvements. Bitch, it should be perfect the first damn time so every customer gets it. So, no offense to her, but these are fucking garbage. <laughs> Dene, your relationships 
in high- So one of the first tweets, I did say, ask me anything, right? Your relationship and how they might have changed and how they have only gotten stronger. Well, relationships change and I feel like that's what happens when it comes to growth. You know, you get to know people. People might come and go out of your life, but I think as long as you are authentically yourself, there's nothing really to like be sad about if a relationship per se ends because it's like, okay, it ended, but I was still myself. shades of the same shade, True. which is why their foundation range was a flop. And they then had to apologize and add 10 later, so. They did add more, but. Six months actually, later. Actually, no, this is the wrong group to have this conversation <laughs> with. What are you guys most excited about 2019 in the beauty community? Not being friends with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it. You guys have a hard time when you film to not like move around to do your makeup because I'm someone that like, will tilt my chin all the way up and you'll see me like lean back and I do like- No, I'm a professional. Like the past year was rough for some of us. Which oh, beauty gosh. influencer had the biggest drop in followers in one day last year? So sorry. Laura Lee? That is correct. <gasps> Fuck at the house. I'm not gonna lie and be total transparent, which is really hard for me right now, being very vulnerable, is saying last year was a really, really tough year for Makeup Geek, and you guys know that. You've seen that our name hasn't been talked about a lot. The reason why has been um, we haven't been supported by influencers because we haven't paid them massive amounts of money. When you're a smaller company, you don't have the big funds to do that, especially if we're trying to make um, makeup that's made in the US. It costs more than making it overseas. And us trying to keep our price point low enough to have enough margins to where we can actually be profitable. So with that being said, we don't have $60,000 to pay someone to do one video. And that's the rates that we've been given. So another thing that was a little controversial the last two days is that um, beauty YouTuber Nikki Tutorials deleted her entire Shape Tape review. And I was like, whoa, what is going on? So after digging in, I found out that she deleted the video because people were really going in on the comment section. And you know the internet is the internet. And this is a very hot topic. But I think that it's very important that when you do have a huge platform like Nikki with over 8 million subscribers, you do, not that you have to do things a certain way, but you do have a choice to really talk about something and bring it full forward because yes girl they may have had your shade but half your audience didn't have their shade so what can I just put my own body count yeah okay okay, okay. yeah <laughs> no her, her, her fucking body count is gonna be as close as your fucking income bitch <laughs> it did actually no I don't even <laughs> oh my god you wrote dick <laughs> Wow! <laughs> because remember when we did that video? Wait, is this right? I literally put date. No. Dessert is two. You like getting your ass motherfucking eight, babe. Period. Period. 
We don't we don't only um if I had a vagina from the start, I would have been princess having I would have been princess having Cleo on her second child. Cool. To the TV. I could be princess. Okay, I'm gonna rate both of you. Okay. Princess, tell me how much money he gave you and then let's times it by a couple. I feel like we just look more related. True. But like yes. I know see like <laughs> Okay. Isn't it called Kane? Not Kanye. Is it Kanye? I'm not gonna talk to you right now. Hi dragons! What's up? It's Nikita. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am here. That was my phone. Sorry. Sorry, I have a boyfriend now. At least one of us. Put your head on. 